moment you've all been waiting for, our opinion about the George Zimmerman trial, which has been going on for almost two weeks now. Um, today is day 13. You know, they have to pick the jury, and of course, we want to discuss that. And um, I have been watching this George Zimmerman trial. It has cut in with my Rosetta Stone time because I'm so caught up in this um, trial. And I can't say that, yeah, I'm enjoying the trial, but I have it's become... interesting. It is interesting, but I have become annoyed for the past two days. And for seven hours, I was annoyed, and you guys know why. But um, it's been a very... I mean, just first I want to say that the prosecution... Baby. Prosecution opened up with their statement, their opening statement. It was good. It was damned good. But when the defense opened up with their opening statement, it made me mad. First of all, it was three hours. And then he opened it up with a knock-knock a knock knock joke. Nobody should ever do that when the parents are in the crowd, in the, in the uh, courtroom, courtroom. The parents of a murdered boy. In the courtroom. And um, it just, and it's a murder. It's a murder trial. Who they the don't fuck? Care. They don't care because they feel as though Trayvon Martin... Is the reason why it, that's the sad part about it, is that the defense honestly believes that the reason why Trayvon Martin is killed is because he attacked George Zimmerman, yeah. and had he not attacked George Zimmerman, he wouldn't be dead. That is the because that, that's, that's 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 how they that's felt. what the defense did. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> and um, his name is uh, Don West. Um, he's the man. Don West and Omar Omar are um, a part of George uh, Zimmerman's defense team. And they have been saying a lot of stuff, but you know, it's kind of like how, oh, because you don't think this, then the jury should agree that that's not how it is. They've been saying a lot of slick shit that I'm just not here for. It's um, things like, oh, he, uh, what George Zimmerman said, he said, George Zimmerman said this, does this sound racist? Does this sound like a person that does this? Does this sound like this, that, that? See, the problem is, because you have a white jury, Half of them, because it's five, you got five and one Hispanic. Most of them don't even know what it's like to be racially profiled. But if you had some black people on that jury, mm -hmm. they will tell you, yes, I know what it's like because yeah. I've been through this. Or I know what it's like. For like, why are, you, why are you following him? It's fucking raining, bitch. You should be in the house watching football on a Sunday night. You worrying about what's going on in the neighborhood on football. Actually, no, that football was, um, wasn't on. That was football on wasn't on at that time. The NBA All-Star game. I'm talking about football. Like, bitch, because I'm thinking of Sunday. Hey. But, um... No, because you're, th you're not thinking. Go ahead. No, oh, you tried to... <coughs> now, do y'all think, think I wasn't thinking when I said what I said? Okay. I'm just talking to the jury. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, they, they did a lot of that. Uh -huh. A lot of that went on. So finally, you know, they started calling people. Okay, I'm like, all right, well, you know, I'm feeling some of the people that's coming up. But then it gets to the star witness, the key witness of it all. See, that's what made me mad. They call her like, yes, bitch, this is the girl that's going to really end for the state and the prosecution. They're, she's going to really end. And then when I got into her speech and how the way she just was, she's not the most articulate. She's not the brightest. But one thing's for certain, two things for sure, you can't run that bitch over. You can't get nothing past her because she ain't playing no games. Now, yesterday, which is Wednesday, Wednesday, very, very defensive, making faces like, ugh, and, and what? And, like, she was giving you Project Cut. She was giving it. Yes, she yes I said it. She was giving it. And then she came in here today. Bitch, she was dressed down. That gave you yes, name. sir. No, sir. <laughs> yes, she's over. <laughs> yeah, she came in here this morning. He's like, "Ooh, good baby, your attitude has changed." Oh, he told her that. Yeah, he, and then he asked her, um, "Who did you talk to yesterday?" She said, "Nobody. I went to sleep." <laughs> Jack. She said, "I went to sleep." I've been told my Lord and Savior. Yes. And then I took my Lord to sleep. <laughs> Cause they, 
They was trying to just get her on everything. But what made me mad yesterday when she said, I heard wet grass, I kept thinking to myself, how do you know what wet grass sounds like? Because you got to be real good to know what wet grass sounds like. I don't know nobody that can describe what white grass sounds like over the phone. Well, let me just say this. Let me say this. I made a joke on Twitter yesterday about um, what she said about the grass comment. But the joke that I made, even though it was a joke about, girl, how do you even know what grass sounds like? In all actuality, grass does have a sound when you listen to it, especially if you are running through it. And it has like this, and somebody made a point where I totally agree, but I was being condescending, like I didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> if you are in mud, or if you are even rolling around in grass, it has a sound, a very distinctive sound that you can hear. So yes, I, I agree with her. It does have a sound. I, a lot of things that I had a problem with, and I'm sorry to stop you no, from no, saying no, what you're no. going to say, but a lot of things that I had a problem with this young lady, first let me be clear. I think that this young lady is a very good witness. I think she's a very good witness. But the problem that I have with her is she's not articulating her words correctly. She has something that she has to say and that she needs to say, but she's not saying it. She's not saying it because she's defensive. She's not saying it because she's upset. She's not saying it because she's tired. She does not want to be there. The problem that I have with Rachel Jindel's supporters, because I'm a supporter too, but the problem that I have with her overzealous supporters, the ones that are saying, oh, don't say this and don't say that, the problem that I have with them is they are making excuses for this young lady. She's 19. She's not 10. So please stop saying that, oh, she's 19 and she's in high school, so of course, you know, this, that, and the third. Stop saying that. Because they are, because now you are degrading those very smart and articulate 19-year-olds who are in high school. You're degrading them by saying, oh, well, what do you mean she's 19? I'm 19 too. I'm smart and I know how to articulate my words. Hell, we even, I even know a few 13 to 14-year-olds who speak better than that. But the problem is that I have with y'all is y'all are making an excuse for every little thing. Yes, she is, she was forced. But then again, who isn't forced to testify when you're a key witness? You're a key witness. Everybody is forced to testify when you are a key witness. The problem that I have with her and the defense, I mean, the uh, prosecution is, I'm happy that the prosecution did not coach her to yeah, say because, certain things oh, because, she would, because she, she would forget and I'm happy that they didn't do that but I'm upset with them is that they didn't have a conversation with her before the trial and the conversation that they didn't have with her is a conversation that most parents have with their kids before they send their kids out to give a speech or before they send their kids out say for instance if, if their kids is having a uh, what do you call those days in school when you are show and tell my mom used to tell me, when we used to have things like that in school, my mom used to always say to me, when you get up there, make sure you speak loud and make sure you speak clear so that the people up there can hear what you were saying. The prosecution did not say to her, sweetheart, before the trial, I'm going to need for you to get plenty of rest. I'm going to need for you to come into that courtroom with an open mind. I'm going to need for you to make sure, because you're going to have a lot of people in that courtroom who are going to be waiting for you to sleep, uh, slip up. Mm -hmm. And there are going to be a lot of people in that courtroom that are going to try to make it seem like that you don't know what you're talking about. So when you get in there, I'm, I'm going to need for you to speak clear and I'm going to make sure, and I'm going to need for you to make sure that you tell everything that it is that you know to the best of your ability. Do not waver. Do not let those people see that you are upset. Just go in there and say what you need to say and make sure that you're clear enough to say it. You can tell that nobody said that to her. She's and then I'm in the room. I said I do and I'm thinking like I'm looking at a woman because physically she, she looks she, like a woman. She looks like a woman. But I'm listening to a child and there's something wrong with that picture because I'm saying to myself, you mean to tell me that nobody set her to the side and said, you got to make sure that you speak clear so that these people can hear you. And that's the problem that I have with her. Other than that, I think that she's a great witness, but I am tired of people making excuses for this young lady. When she found out that she was going to be called in to testify, that's when somebody should have went on her and said, look, sweetheart, 
you are going to testify because you were the last person to speak to your friend before he got killed. That is very important. Yeah. And for somebody who is, is the last person to speak to somebody before they get killed, yes, that is a hard thing. Yes, that is a painful thing. But you want to make sure that you seek justice for your friend. And that is not it's what I'm getting from lies. her. And I'm I not getting that from her. What I'm getting from her is I don't want to be here. But why would you not want to be there to seek justice for your dead friend? All that I don't want to be here attitude and mentality should have been left in the hallway. Pick that up when you leave the courtroom. But when you get on that stand, you have to say, you know what? I am here for Trayvon. That is my friend. That is the last person I spoke to on the phone. And Trayvon, I don't care what happens. I want you to know that I am here for you. I am not getting that from her. I am getting from her. Why are you asking me these questions? Why do you keep asking me these questions, sweetheart? That's what they're going to do. They right. keep but asking listen, the same listen. question to see if you're lying. That's what they're supposed listen, to do. Listen, but listen, Don West, this motherfucker was sitting there asking the same, same question. But that's for what they twenty. Let me take I mean, it was too. It was too much where you know let me tell you something like that now come on now remember when I told you I was robbed in 2006 I too had a trial that I had to go to hello I was the key witness why because I was the one who was robbed of course the defense asked me the same question over and over and over again are you sure this guy well how do you know that was him Wait a minute, did you say that you was friends with him in high school? When I clearly said that I wasn't friends with him in high school, I said that him and I went to the same high school, but yet they kept trying to make it seem like I said I was friends. This is what they do. They want to keep asking you the same question so to see if you're going to slip up and see if you're going to lie. So if people would realize that and understand that and stop saying, oh, well, she's getting aggravated because they keep asking the same thing. And she's, and and she, and, and, yeah, I would be aggravated too, but this is seven what they're hours. supposed to do. Listen, they have seven to do that. I was seven hours of almost the but same you, but see but that's why like I say somebody has, that's why I said that somebody should have properly prepared her yeah, and sure. you can tell but that they did trust not trust her last night somebody got on her ass somebody got on her oh she's killing her no, she's irking me with the sun yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. draining yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. because she still yes, has that attitude and this is my thing this is my because I will be mad if you ask the same thing. I, I am too. I, I'm mad too that they keep asking her the same questions. But my thing is, seven hours. this is what they're supposed to do. Yes. This is what they're supposed to do because I guarantee you, this is what the defense is going to do. I mean, because not they want to create this. They want to not create the doubt. This is what the, the, is what what the prosecution is going to do to the defense's witness. They're going to do the same damn thing. This is what happens in a courtroom. But my thing is with the key witness. That's what she's being called. Yeah, of course you don't. She you don't have properly. Your, your okay. attitude doesn't be like that. You know, I was tweeting about that yesterday. And why are you telling lies to the mother? If, <laughs> if this is what was said, this is what was said. said. Right. If, I, if I'm going to defend my friend, I'm going to defend my friend to the motherfucking end. Yes. That's how I'm going to be. And some people, you know, some people still wasn't understanding where I was coming from. But I don't give a damn who I'm trying to protect. If Trayvon said... Uh, what did he say? Creepy, creepy cracker. ass cracker. The say next he was saying creepy ass cracker. He said, Don't get mad because that's his mom. Say it. That is your job when you are doing when you're in deposition, first of all, you're under oath. You should be telling everything the truth. Everything that you can fucking remember, because you I need to be saying and stop saying, oh well. I didn't want to say that, and no, because I say everything. I guarantee you that Trayvon Martin's mother could not care less about him saying creepy, creepy ass, ass crack because her son is laying in somebody's damn grave. So I'm sure that's the last thing she cares about is that he said creepy ass cracker. And, and then, he, then he asked her, do you think creepy ass cracker is offensive? She said, no. she said no. But what she should have said was, do you think that he has his hand in his waist pockets, do you, and he's black, do you think that's offensive? Yeah. Because that's racist yeah. to me. And he was asking me, asking white people. Of course, they're going to say no, but you ask a black person, he got his hands in his waist mm -hmm. pockets, and he's black. Bitch, of course he's racist, or if he's not racist, of course he's racially motivated. She's just, not, statement. She's just not properly prepared. No, they She's didn't really not. not. They didn't properly prepare no. her. And I'm tired of people on social media saying that, oh, she's this, and oh, stop mm -hmm. it. No. If she's not properly prepared, then Say, call, let's call a thing a thing. Nobody properly prepared this young lady before she stepped on that stand. They sent her out on the stand. You know what they did? They told her, go ahead. They probably knew she was ratchet. Go ahead. But I mean, because if I know somebody ratchet and I know I'm about to, they about to meet somebody, I'm like, look, man, you got to, don't, don't show me. they knew that she was ratchet yeah. when they met her for that's the first how time. You, that's how you be with people. Because yep. my friends know. Kevin and you, like, they'll get me together. Because at one point, I used to be a sloppy drunk. 
and they would give me Kevin. If you you can't, mm -hmm. like they would get me yeah. together. So that's what I think they should have did with her, but they did. It's you know what it is with um. Or maybe they did that shit went out the window. Cause you ain't he, you ain't see her face. We had we didn't even know what she looked like until today. They probably knew. Let's get her ass. You know, That's and you know what else? I have a problem today. with her too. Is I'm still stuck on that first forty eight comment. Now, <laughs> yes, I love first forty eight. Anybody who follows me on Twitter knows that I watch first forty eight all the time. The problem is that I have with her when they asked her. Um, well, why didn't she contact the police or whatever? And she said to them, well, you know, the, the police was supposed to contact me, you know, whatever the case may be. That's that's what they do on First 48. Mm -hmm. There may some be some truth into what she said, and there may be some, you know, whatever. But the problem that I have with her is, first of all, at the end of the day, First 48 um, is based on actual yes. events that happened. But First 48 is a TV show. Let's. It's not real. Wait. No, it's, it's real. But it's a show that comes on TV. Mm -hmm. In no way, shape, or form, if I'm asked the question about why didn't I call the police, would I ever say, well, ain't that, well, I didn't do this because ain't that what they do on First 48? That's not coming out of my mouth. Yeah, you're supposed to call me. That's not, what I'm, that's not what's coming out of my mouth. Yeah. I, I would I say to them, say that's, like yeah, that. I would never say anything like that. But the problem that I have with this young lady is, sweetheart, she said that she didn't know Trayvon Martin was dead until... The next day. Was it the Come next day? day? No, I think she said a few days Come later. Away. Okay, fine. She may not have known that he was dead right away. That, that he was killed. Fine. But this is the problem that I have. Maybe this is just me. Maybe it's just me. But I think that if you are the last person to speak to somebody and you find out a few days later that they were killed, I would think that, damn, I, I need to call the police because I need to let them know. Or call the family. Or, or call the family or somebody. But don't just sit there and not call or but tell anybody. Remember. And wait, but you know what the problem is that I have? Because somebody brought up a very good point to me on Twitter. Somebody tweeted me and said, the reason why this young lady didn't do that didn't do what she was supposed to do was because in the hood you have this stop snitching thing. Oh, and this wait a young, no, 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 because uh, when you think uh, about it, no, 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 when you think about it, wait. you got these people who don't get involved. Oh, they they don't get involved. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in the hood they feel as though if you get involved, oh, then somehow you're snitching. Because naturally she didn't know what was going on. That don't apply. But, but, but no, no, it just no, it listen, does apply. Listen, because listen. Look, I'm not finished saying what I need to oh, say. Oh, it oh, does yeah. apply. Because let me tell you something, if this young lady had the common sense that God gave her, she would have picked up that phone and called, if she wasn't going to call the police, then she damn sure should have called this boy's mom or dad. But she didn't do anything. Why she didn't do anything? Because the first 48 told her that the cops are supposed to call me first. Who in their no, right mind is going to say listen, something listen, like listen, that? Listen, the that doesn't make sense. Hold the on. girl... Don't, don't say she's slow. Oh, oh, she ain't slow. Wait, wait, wait. No, yes, no, she is. No, she's not slow. Come on, because I want to say something. Come on. Say it, but don't say it's slow. What you want to say? Because I want to say Does something. Does this person live in the hood that told you something about the no snitching? No, but you don't have to. I don't live in the hood, but everybody knows Listen, no snitching. That bro. don't apply. Now, if something happens in the hood and your friends, that's no snitching. Clearly, that's not a no snitching rule right there. A white man or whatever kind of man killed the black child, that doesn't fall into the no snitching thing. That does not fall in that category. We're talking, no snitching is like Kevin killed Mikel and all Kevin friends is right there and all Mikel friends is right there. That's no snitching because we all know who did it and we all know that Mikel's friends is going to get Kevin. That's a no snitching rule. This she, I feel as though she's slow and she don't know no better and down there they don't yeah. they don't know. Listen, she's no. slow. Listen, you can be slow and still have a head where you mm -hmm. can't yeah, let nobody she, do she's nothing stupid. to you. She's not the sharpest tool in the shed, you can tell. but she's not dumb. <laughs> Now, her slowness fucked up with her, when first of all, if I'm hearing an altercation go down with any of my friends on the phone, I'm going to keep calling. And if I keep calling, then I'm going to call the cops. Because, bitch, you won't say, oh, I just... I just left it alone and I heard the rumors at school the next day. No. First of all, we all can see she's not the brighter. Okay? What's the other word for it? She, she's 19 and the 12th Great. She can't read. She they asking her, can you 
Look at that. Read right through lines 19 through 14. That's how long it take to read that? It's not. It's not funny. That's, that's why I don't want to call her something and they embarrassed the Cause shot. Cause she at. is. Cause listen. Cause she is slow. That's that's why. That's why they didn't have her do interviews like that. That's why they didn't have her face on TV because they knew that this girl, her elevator don't go all the way up to the top. No, her but one thing, but one thing that one thing that went on, she was consistent with her story. Yeah. She was consistent mm -hmm. on why she lied. And and any time that Don West tried to slip that bitch up, no, because no, that ain't happened. I didn't say that, sir. I said so and so, and this would happen, sir. So, yes. Well, you know yes, the answer, so they say she, she, she no, 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 no. They, they, they prepped her. They prepped her yesterday because she wasn't saying that. But today, today she can't say it. Because somebody was, told her. No, she was so just saying, yes, sir. She said to the judge, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, because that, but see, that's the, that's the, see, that's the problem that but I have. But you nervous. The problem that I have. Uh, no, but then again, you are old. nervous, Amber. You are nervous. But my thing is, I was thinking this um yesterday when I was watching it. These people, because we all have people, we all have friends that we know that we wouldn't dare invite our friends to give a speech on our behalf. Because yeah. they can't speak very well. When these lawyers, the prosecution, when they went to go meet with her for the first time. They met at Sabrina Fulton's house. They met her at Trayvon Martin's mom's house. When they went to have a conversation with her, they knew after that conversation that this girl ain't she ain't the brightest to when it comes to speaking. Yeah. The problem that I have with them is they did not properly get her together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to They do didn't do that. Way. And that's the problem that I have with her. She is like I, I will say this again, she's a great witness, but she's also a bad witness. And the reason why I say she's a great witness, because when you listen to her, you can tell that she has something to say. She just don't know how to say it. Let me ask because you she's so used to, I'm sorry, I'm oh. about to be done real quick. She's just so used to sitting with Kiki and Sharonda and all and talking and the way she talks. Yeah, yeah. And now that she's, and, and then somebody had the nurse to say to me, oh, well, why are you upset because she's not speaking the way you want her to speak in front of Whitey and them? No, I want her to, but mind you. No, I want her to speak the way an adult is supposed to speak, mm -hmm. properly. And she's on the stand supposed to be defending her friend. I don't want her to speak, uh, I, I, no, I want her to speak like she got yeah. common sense. And she don't have common sense. First of all, after yesterday, I would say, ah, you baby. No, 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 no. She was mad. She had to come down. Because she wanted to sit up there. And then she had the nerve to get upset because she got to come. That's, that's the problem that I have with her. This is your friend that was killed, and you don't even want to... But see, you just want to go home. Look but maybe like man, that's what, why. What, what, what could, that's why. What could, what could erase everything is if, if they could confirm that she said, um, could. I could is could versus could have. The jury is going to go back and forth with could versus could have. And it said when when they did you see when they was asking her, did you say you could hear Trayvon or you could have heard Trayvon? They oh, went back. Oh, no, oh, I didn't hear that. They part. went back and forth. For a good twenty minutes about this, so she, this is where you get mad. So he's like, "I'm gonna play the tape. I'm gonna play. We're gonna play it back." It does sound like she said I could have heard Trayvon, but she probably did mean to say I, I, could. I could. That's you why she said talk, she told him, "Trust me." She said, "Trust me." I said, "I could." Now I could. She said, "They ain't get it right," but that's why they had to play the tape back. And it sounds like she, she said, said I could, yeah. but she probably meant to say I could hear Trayvon. Um, yeah, she probably was trying to say so, I could have heard him. Like, so the jury, basically say, yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah I, I could have heard him. The, yeah. the jury, I don't know. I don't she know. probably did mean I, I could have heard him. No, I'm saying she probably did, but I don't even want to talk to her because now I'm, yeah. I'm going to be talking like her. But it's it's um, that's sad. It is it, sad. It's, it's, sad. It's, it's, it's this crazy, you know. I do believe that George Zimmerman profile originally profiled. Yeah, he did. Um, uh, Trayvon that's Martin. Stupid. And this is the thing. He called the cops so many times. He kept saying, this This is the time he was like, fuck this. I'm tired of them always getting away. So now I'm going to follow him. And they keep saying that he said fucking punks. He didn't say fucking punks. He said fucking coons. Who in their mind can't hear him clearly say that on the tape? So now they won't say it in court because if they said they... Just admit that he said fucking coons mm -hmm. in court. This trial could have been over. It doesn't matter who testified. All you need is the facts. George Zimmerman called at such and such time. George Zimmerman, I mean, Trayvon Martin was on the phone with his friend. Blah, 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 blah. But the only thing that I'm thinking about that could also hurt is I'm wondering if Trayvon went to the store at 623, okay? 
He probably left out like around 6 something, got to the store around 6.23. He left out. What were you doing from 6.23 to around 7.10 where George Zimmerman seen you? Like, I understand it was raining and he was standing under something, but it, it takes about maybe a good 10, 15 minutes to walk a mile. If you talking and... No, the fuck bro, it don't. It don't take that long. Amber, a mile is like, no, listen, a mile... 30. It don't take no 30 minutes to walk a mile. Look, look, we live right here to, to walk here, to walk here from from here to Broad Street is about a mile. It don't take no 30, 30 minutes to, to walk a mile. Take maybe a good 10, 15 minutes. If you're talking, maybe 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes to walk a mile. It's, so If granted, it takes you 30 minutes to get from your grandma's house to 30th Street, Broad Street, then that means that you have made all a bunch of stuff. That's not a mile, though. No, it's about it's a mile. About okay, well, let's just say this. From, he, from here to, to here, from here to Lehigh Avenue is a mile walk. To walk the 22nd and Lehigh. So that's like 20 minutes. No, 15 minutes. 10, 15, 15 20, minutes. It all depends on how you walk. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, so let's say, let's, let's, give, let's give him a 20 minutes grace period. All right, so it take you 20 minutes. So you should be at the complex by 640. Now, even though it's raining, if I'm in the complex and it's raining and my dad's house is only around the corner or whatever, I'm going to walk in the rain and get in the house. I don't know nobody that's afraid of a little bit of water that's talking on their phone and got their headset in and just say, I'm going to stand under here in this mail thing. Fuck that. I'm walking in the house. There's been plenty of times where I've been courting the rain on the 33, getting off at 19th Street. Well, it depends on, I gotta, well, I'm not waiting. But it, depends on, but it depends on how hard it was raining. It mm -hmm. could have been raining hard and then it slowed up. You know what I mean? It could have been like raining really hard, and then that's why he waited for it to slow up. And once it slowed up enough, then he decided to go. Because we've all been in those situations where it's raining too hard to walk in it. Like, and I be mean, like, I'm going to stand here until it slows up, out. and then I'm going to go. But that could have been Another happened. thing I'm surprised about is that where's the surveillance cameras like in this community? Mm -hmm. If y'all got all these break-ins, where the fuck are the cameras? Yeah, also, what about in the area? You mean to tell me nobody has a camera of Trayvon walking at such and such time? I don't care what nobody say. Where's like, the black women on this jury? Yeah, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that because they're going to think that sense. they're going to think that black people are going to look at it from a black person's point of view. So they put out these fucking white women they may look at it because a white person because a white person doesn't experience racism so they figure so then that's even more reason why you should have people go yeah. on here because this white person may find this, this white person, person one Latino Latino. Latino. this white these white women I'm not saying that they will but these white women may find George Zimmerman uh, guilty because you never know some of these white women money. may be because their mother be tied to their mothers <laughs> so that's another thing because they could say well you know when this happen to my child this could happen to my child first of all first of all I keep thinking about this if the skin colors were reversed, if Trayvon Martin oh, was a Trayvon white boy, would have been arrested on the first night. If he was a little white boy, <laughs> and George Zimmerman was a big black or black guy, I don't even think we'd have had this trial. You know, it was not. Nice. They would have hung him from the highest fucking tree there yeah. is in fucking Florida. Are you serious? What? Yeah. Can you imagine? Well, a little white boy going to the store to get an Arizona pack of Skittles this, and he was killed by a black guy? This what? trial is going to come what? down to <laughs> this trial is going to come down to who swung first mm -hmm. and who could have versus could have and whoever else has any more testimony about it. For me, you already know George Zimmerman killed him. I don't give a fuck. First of all, let, let's put it like There's this. No even it, if you're yeah. fighting, you even if you're fighting right? somebody, why are you, first of all, why are you carrying the gun in the rain? Second thing is if you're fighting, just because you're losing, doesn't mean you should pull your gun out to shoot anybody. But that was because you're losing a fight. That was his intent. He because he so thought that Trayvon Martin. Why was you chasing well, he a child Martin, down? He said that Trayvon Martin was a... Uh, the, yeah, uh, the prosecutor. No, but don't, said, don't get me wrong, because me and my friends were talking about this the other day. I had no idea that Trayvon Martin was that tall. Right. You see the surveillance cam camera film inside that store? Oh, yeah, he was the average 17-year-old height. He was... No, but see, oh, George man. Zimmerman, see, and another thing, people not bringing this up, but George Zimmerman on the, because now they say it's a non-emergency call, on that call, he was saying he's black. He was sure he was yeah, black. Yeah, I heard that. And also, he kept saying, I just lost my fucking mind, my memory. He said he was black, and then he said, well, what? how old does he look? He looked like he's in his late teens. He said that on that tape. But then when he was in that courtroom, 
And when he apologized to the family, he said, I thought he was a little bit younger than me. That's why he did what he did. Wait a minute. So Nobody he apologized in the courtroom. To the, yeah, this is about a year ago. Oh, like last April year. last year. Oh, okay. He apologized to the family and he said that he thought Trayvon was a couple years younger than him. So at that time, George Zimmerman, what, 28? You thought that the guy was 25. But on the 911 tape, you, you said he was in his late teens. Mm -hmm. Nobody's talking about this. Not even Nancy Grace and this bitch crying every night. I haven't even heard Shirley and Robert talk she, about do it. They realize Sonny that? Austin hasn't talked about it. TJ Holmes hasn't talked about it. Nobody has talked about it or brought it up. I want George Zimmerman bitch ass on that fucking witness Damn. stand. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna get no. in that witness stand. They're not they're not. He's not. Him. He done changed his testimony. He already gave his testimony. Can we, I don't know if they could even bring that up, but he did a video testimony and he went to the scene of the crime talking about all the happened. Wow. Now he's looking at again. First of all, when he showed Trayvon Martin's body. Yeah. That oh. was the first time seeing him. Oh, and then, and then that's and not I mean, even. They showed him. They showed his body. Yes. Yes. First they showed the picture of him when he was face down. Then really? they showed the picture of him when he was face down and his eyes was open. Yeah, they, I said, oh my God. And another, oh thing, my God. another thing is, some dickhead went on the computer, photoshopped his body out that thing, and put his body in, in all different kinds of scenes and thought it was funny. Like, um, you how fucking like sick that. can you, you be to do like something like that? that? No, he was black. And then got mad that people was cursing him out on Twitter. And then he was retweeting some of the other people First that were supposed to even Photoshop that. I don't know. Don't even send me that. No, I, I saw it. it. I, I saw mad. it on the thing, and I was shocked because you know I usually would think they would blur it out. No, and then it was eyes is open. What do they say about people who die with their eyes open? Isn't it like some type of saying that they say like know. they seen they 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 seen the person who killed or something like real maybe. weird that they know. say that. I don't know, but he maybe he, it was I don't sad. Know. Like that was really sad like, to see. saying his hands was under his body. When, his, when his body was laid face down, his hands was under his body. You couldn't see his hands when his yeah, body was they laid down. Say, so now they're saying that's different from what George Zimmerman was saying. Because I think George Zimmerman was saying his hands was out. Well, all the witnesses so, who was there, like all the women who said they testified and said they saw George Zimmerman on top of him. Man, they said they can hear the also they can hear the bullet still burning the skin <gasps> from uh, you can hear the uh, crackling of it here from the bullet. So wow. yeah, it's it's um you did you just because you're losing the fight does not mean you have to kill somebody. But and they said Trayvon was more in the blood. They said he the they said none of the blood was on Trayvon Martin's hands from Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. It was no blood on him at all. And so they're, they're, no defense they're trying to say that they're trying to say that the blood could wash off and that they didn't test they didn't do the test. Well, you know where you could see blood or loud, stains. Man. They didn't do that test on him to see. But you don't need to do that to look at look under the fingernails to see if it's blood. Ain't that much rain in the world going to wash that out? Yeah. And, and why isn't um, George Zimmerman's blood on Trayvon? If Trayvon was on top, it should be blood on his nose. But we know he wasn't on fingers. top. But we know he wasn't on top because even the neighbors who saw the fight said that he wasn't on top. The one lady said the man who was on top had on a white t-shirt. Trayvon Martin ain't having a white t-shirt. No, he had a whole black hoodie. A black hoodie. You know? and, and now they're trying to figure out who's screaming. Like they, they already said the FBI can't determine who's screaming is doing, who's doing the screaming. But after the shot went off, he stopped. It was screaming. stopped. It stopped mm -hmm. screaming. So if I'm yelling for help, just because I shoot my gun does not mean I'm going to stop for help. I would say call the police. Somebody call the cops. Somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, somebody with a gun. Something. I doubt if somebody with a gun is calling for help. Yeah, that's why I know but you got a gun. Sounding like a girl, he sounded like a bitch now. Not to say Trayvon, Trayvon sounds like a, it. It sounds like a girl. Heart. It sounds like uh, you know, young. a young person screaming for help. Who's running with a gun screaming for help? Yeah, so I'm just urged. urged. Yeah. I'm just urged. You know, I just want to hug Rachel. I really do. I want to. I want to hug her and then whisper in her it's ear. Sad. Get it together. Hmm. Mama, she don't, it together. don't know no better though. She, she don't, don't know no. They don't know no she better, don't. and that's the bad thing. Hmm. She couldn't, mm -hmm. she, at 19, and she can't read cursive. You know, she, uh, not only that, first of all, she I was speaks three English. languages. First of all. She speaks Creole, Spanish, and English. But they're trying to find out if English, she speaks broken English. Bro, she don't, 
Michelle, but she was Michelle, over it. Broken Michelle. English. Broken, and she was you know, over it know. when they asked her, did she understand English? They no, they do. Don't say that because people down south that watch us, they do know. They know. No, but they in the do hood, know. She don't know. That's no, the problem. And not, not saying all down south they don't know because if you don't get a good education, then you don't know. No, because there's people up here in the north that don't know. There's people up north that don't have a good education. Yeah, they should speak better English. No, 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 but there's people up north that speak just like her. Yeah. The problem is she... She, she didn't want to be there. She didn't she want to be upset. there. She was, she was upset. She and, was mad. And, yeah. and so now she has that whole attitude like, fuck it. You're not sitting outside with your girlfriends. You're in the courtroom and you're testifying for your friend who's dead. You got to you gotta put on your big girl panties. Bigger than the ones Literally. that you wear. Okay? Literally. Stop playing. Like, it's... First of all, and... But do I was you, do y'all keep on feeling like it's her? Grade. Why didn't they pre prepare her? That's what. That's my problem. They didn't prepare her. That's the problem that I have is that they didn't prepare Listen, her. They, I'm glad they didn't coach her. They could have prepared no, her. No, that's about her. Yeah, her. but preparing her. Preparing her means you don't have to tell her what to say. Just prepare her and say, sweetheart, speak clearly when you get mm -hmm. up there. Speak clear. Every time you turn around, she's mama. And then a part that was, first of all, Shit could have went a little bit smoother and faster and been way more interesting if they didn't have to keep stopping and saying, what did she say? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the court reporter in there who's trying to catch everything. Then she has to keep asking her what she's saying. Mind you, she's sitting right in front of her. Even and she can't even hear what she's saying. She, said. she still can't even hear what she's saying. Like, sweetheart. And then every time they ask her, she, it's almost as if it's going in one ear out the other. Because she speaks up and then two minutes later, she's back to speaking mumbling. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. But I think I think she like, kept what? saying I think she kept telling um, Don West she couldn't hear him on purpose because she was trying to get her throat together before saying it uh -huh. because he was she asking a lot of stuff. She's like, what? Cause like, she, cause, cause I don't she wasn't understand understanding. what you're saying. That she wasn't understanding. And the problem is, I, the problem that I have is is that a lot of African Americans are taking up for this type of behavior as far as her not being to articulate. Instead of them being upfront and saying, look, sweetheart, you got to get it together because you're up there speaking for your friend. You are the voice of for your dead friend because at the end of the day, and she even said to herself, you got to understand, I was the last person who spoke to him. But then, sweetheart, you need to articulate that. You're not doing it. You're not doing it at all. You're just, you're, I, I, I could, I don't know. And like, what are you talking about? I don't even know. What Were you even there? Like, who was, was she even on the phone with Trayvon? Oh, she was she, like, who was she on the phone with? She and then she's 19 years old and she can't even read cursive writing. I was taught how to write, first of all, I was taught to in the sixth grade, Miss Mann's, Finn Letter, middle school, taught us in the sixth grade that once you get to a certain age, you have to start writing the cursive because that's the well, adult thing to do. Did, you mean to tell me, and mind you, I don't writing, even, mind you, I'm 20 something years old and I don't even know how to write in print no more. When no, I write, oh. I don't know how to write in print because when I write in print, it looks like a, it's like a two year old. Because I've been writing cursive but all you my know, life. But see, you know what, another thing and is, she don't even know how to read it. Another thing is, we do this. This is all we do now. So when it comes to writing, our language is our language. <laughs> our um, print is fucked up. Mm -hmm. When you come to write your name on the line, you like, damn, I, my name, my name. Keep saying no, but, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Language. But is it us, the three of us that do that? Because the it's three of us. Grew, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Because let me tell you something. The three of us grew up in a time where, because all of us are over the age of 25. We grew up in a time before we had Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, all that stuff. So we grew up in a time before we had social media. So we had to write shit down. Yeah, and yeah. so when we had social media, we had to learn social media. But we still held on to the shit that we learned before. Yeah, These young kids before. coming up now, they, they don't, don't know no shit about that. They don't because all they know is social media. Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't know shit about they, writing the curse this, this is what they do. They know about iPad. And they know about Temple Run and yeah. Candy Crush. <laughs> what the fuck is Candy Crush? That's what I'm I want to name that I'm fucking addicted to. A, a fucking well, you game. Got a they the damn grow up like us and they don't have they, morals. Exactly, like they don't have that. In the 90s, mind you, in the 90s when we were in school, the internet was brand new. Mm -hmm. We ain't had no damn internet in our house until the late 90s, early 2000s. Mm -hmm. The internet didn't come out until 1995. In 95, I was what? In the. Good God Almighty. I was like in the fourth, fifth grade. What happened? I was. In 1995. You know he said we didn't really get We didn't really internet. have that shit like they have today. Oh no, you didn't have it at all. So we had to write in cursive. We had to know how to read a fucking book. Our moms made us read a damn book. Yeah, we had to learn how to talk. We had to learn how to do that. Parents today, because they don't teach, parents today don't tell kids to read the book like my mom did. Oh no, they don't. 
But they'll tell them, oh, how do I activate my Facebook? Your Facebook, and you want to be my friend on Facebook, you and you're my mom? For a good almost two hours to die. Get your life. I wish my mom would ask me to be my friend on Facebook. If you don't get sit your ass down. First of all, my mom is still asking me how to work a computer. She's 51 years right, old. That's how I need and that's how I like it. You asking me, yeah, ask me how to use it. Oh, because you know why I like it that way? You know how I like it that way? Because I, I want to be the one to show my mom what to use and what not to use. Mm -hmm. Just like when we was coming up, our mom showed us what to use and what not. Now it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to get on here and what not to get on. But okay. no, it's, it should be still. But you know what? That just shows you what kind of was going on in the Miami public schools. And it's showing you what's going on everywhere. everywhere. But y'all motherfuckers want to close down these schools. <laughs> okay. Mind you, they cut. They, it's not even going to be music class no more. Okay. No music and class. And I had music class in, in high school. No, I no counselors. Counselors losing their jobs. But y'all got four hundred million dollars for prisons. Ain't that something? I think I. I'm done. Ain't that I just. It's just so sad. It's, it's, it's sad. so sad. I'm still stuck on the fact that this young lady said in front of everybody that she don't know how to read in cursive. And you know what the problem that I have with that? Is that she honestly thinks in her mind that it was okay to say. But who wrote that letter in probably thought, She probably thought, well, somebody who don't write in print. Because when you stop and think about it, Kevin, grown people today don't write in print. They, they write in cursive. Any letter that you get is in cursive. Why? Because that's what people, how people are taught. If I get a letter from a grown person that's in print, first of all, if I get a letter, period, and it's in print, I'm not going to think that a grown person wrote this. I'm going to think that an, a child wrote this because that's, you know that grown people don't write like that. Mm -hmm. They just don't write like that. Even when you watch, a lot of y'all probably don't watch old movies, but I watch a lot of old movies. Even when you watch a lot of old movies and they show letters written, it's, it's, it's in cursive. That's how, pe that's how people were taught. You have to write in cursive. That's the adult way. She's 19 years old and she don't know how to read cursive. So you know what that means? She don't know how to write in cursive. Because mm -hmm. she don't even know how to read it. Mm -hmm. And what does that say? That is embarrassing. I don't care what nobody says. That is embarrassing to be 19 years old and don't know how to write in cursive. I was but taught how to write in cursive in the sixth damn grade. Yeah, so I was in the second when she learned. Go. She don't. She can't write in print. Like. Because you. Because that's what you're taught in school. So that you're, you're right. That's the million dollar question. What is going on in the Florida school system where this 19 year old in the 12th grade don't know how to read in cursive? Yeah, the lady on CNN kept throwing. Oh, she and then she got the nerve to be the star witness in the murder trial that's and don't even me. know how to. That's what's killing me. The star key witness. <laughs> I'm gonna shout, you know shout for her when I go to church. Cause we, something's not right. We got the <laughs> something ain't we're, right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We'll be back on Monday because we gotta talk about the NFL player. I'm just, I don't know. It's the NFL player that did his shit of killing somebody got caught they on tape, right and now. then he allegedly killed two other people too. Mm -hmm. They killed from them. last year. Oh yeah, he's moving. <laughs> look, look at my aunt. She's calling me. I bet she yeah. knows how to write oh, in person because she talks to damn things. That's, that's that's the first thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll call her back. Go ahead. So, you know, we're going to go. We're going to go. Thank y'all for watching. Oh, my God. I think, do you think we should split this video? Because Trayvon Martin was like 45 minutes. Yeah, split this into its own video. But you know what? I think you should put Trayvon Martin part up first, being as though that's the big story of the day. Okay. I might put it up tonight. Yeah, put it up tonight. Yes. And then, yeah, put that up tonight because I want to see what people have to say. Okay. So, we're going to go. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching the Scorpion Show. We'll holler at y'all next week. Rachel Dindell. Wow. Jean-Tel.